What's going on everybody? I'm in Tokyo once again today and I'd like to tell you about number of cars available for sale at our affiliate shop here in Tokyo. So let's start looking at the cars from this corner and as you can see the car starts here from 180 SX which is pretty cool. This car has got uh, 123,000 kilometers and they are asking for uh, 1,580,000 Japanese yen for this car which is not bad and the car looks pretty lovely in a black condition it's more than 30 years old car by the way guys uh, next one is a GTS type M isn't it uh, this one is R33 Skyline and uh, looks pretty clean as well and this car is manufactured in 1997 and has got 104 8,000 kilometers and they're asking for 680,000 Japanese yen for this car which is pretty cool if you think about it this car you can purchase it for uh, for how much 6,000 US dollars it's crazy uh, I'm sure by the time this car becomes closer to the US import it's gonna at least double in price it's a Skyline R33 type M edition as well which is turbo so pretty cool so Fairly lady Z's here, number of them. This one is what I don't want to spend too much time, but 40, 143,000 uh, kilometers on it, and it's uh, being offered for 10,000 US dollars. Another fair lady Z, another fair lady Z, another fair lady Z over there. And uh, okay, let's first uh, let's move on. So this one is the, uh, the Millennium Jade. Uh, Oh, not Millennium J. Sorry about that, guys. This one is Midnight Purple Color GTR33, uh, which is pretty cool and lovely. By the way, this car belongs to my shop, actually, and I'll be taking this car back to Nagoya a little bit later. Not a little bit later, actually, once it's ready, actually. And we are having a service done on the car. Here is another GTR33 that are available for sale. We haven't put up the price on it, but I think this is 997 edition. Uh, Series 2 GTR33 in white color, then free as far as I remember on the report of the car another white GTR 33 uh, let's keep moving GTR 32 white color one right here available for sale black Nissan Skyline GTR 33 this one is actually 998 version uh, series 3 GTR 33 dent for 8,000 kilometers I think they are asking for around 36,000 US dollars for this particular car and moving on to the next one, I'm sure a lot of you find this car quite amazing, uh, which is, of course, Bayside Blue Nissan Skyline GTR 34. It's got 140,000 kilometers or so, I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's somewhere around there. And uh, 147,000 kilometers, 999. And they are asking for, as a base price, 5,680,000 Japanese, which is equal to around 53,000 US dollars. Uh, this car has got a lot of upgrades on it and as you can see the exterior also has got quite a number of upgrades side skirts bumper the, the, the top secret basically the hood and everything else so uh, I can make a special movie on this particular car if I want to basically so moving on dark blue Nissan Skyline GTR 32 uh, comes with a lot of top secret uh, upgrades on it as well. This car is a little bit expensive actually. Nine, year 982, unknown mileage. Comes with the JCI shock in. And you're asking for uh, for 4,980,000 Japanese yen, which is around uh, 46,000 US dollars. It is equal to if you are someone watching this video from abroad. By the way, just to point out this car, this car is very much upgraded uh, up to the engine. As you can see, even the handle is not there. It's over there. It's, it's got cage as well. So quite a number of upgrades on it and back seats are taken off. Well, but let's keep moving on. Uh, we got BMW here, uh, Honda S2000 right here. Um, what else do you got? They got a GTR 33 and Scorpion Silver Color 997, and they are asking for 2,880,000 Japanese yen for this particular car, manufactured in 997 with 147,000 kilometers on it, which is, um, yeah, good for the price of the car. 
Uh, this is newly arrived V-Spec Edition Midnight Purple, another Midnight Purple GTR 33 and it needs some service done on the car and as you guys can see the bumper is also not there and uh, basically they are working on the car right here. So going back uh, to the one that I wanted to talk about. By the way, this GTR 33 is also 985. This belongs to our shop, Garage Defend as well, and we will have to take this car back to Nagoya, which I will be doing it later on, probably with a pickup delivery company truck. Coming back to the car that I want to focus on this video, and it is this lovely, actually first edition 1989 Nissan Skyline GTR 32 one of the first ever manufactured Nissan Skyline GTR 32s it is and this car is 30 years old but uh, hey I tell you what this car is pretty much lovely condition for its age so now let's take a closer look at the car and learn a little bit about its condition let's check the exterior of the car as a first thing to do just so that you guys know this car is accident free repair free what it means is that the car has never had any basically work done on the car paint is original factory gunmetal color and uh, yeah the car is quite quite well kept for its age and the reason i'm telling you is we are going to find out uh, through checking the car itself. So let's take a closer look on the exterior of the car and try to find any faults on the car uh, for its exterior condition. Let's see, relatively clean from this side. Of course, car is a little bit dusty, dusty because at the moment it's being kept outdoor, but uh, most of the time throughout the age of the car, the car has been kept indoor. And the reason why I'm telling you is that as you can see the the, 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 you guys told me what it is called in English. I can't remember it anymore again. The, the, the seals here are pretty good condition, very much well maintained. Um, I will show you a little bit later more on the details of the car, but let's first keep looking at, at the exterior of the car and try to see if we can find any faults on the car itself. So, um, well kept there is a little bit of a space I mean nah this is this is okay this is a genuine there's nothing nothing wrong with it you, over time if you if you think about this is 30 years old seals as well it gets really bad over time but the car is quite well maintained although it's super dusty at the moment and seals are pretty good as well and so far so good I mean I don't find any on the exterior of the car as you can see this this one is a little bit broken I'll open up the door and we'll focus on that a little bit more in detail but uh, so far I don't see anything wrong or any big scratches or anything wrong with the car itself uh, car has got the JCI as you can see an aftermarket muffler so as aftermarket wheels uh, let's have a look at the underbody of the car now Go. Exhaust system is up the market. Let's see if I'm through this world. As you can see, the underbody of the car is quite, quite clean, relatively very much well maintained for its age, which is 30. The car has got the, the, the grills right here, just cool and it, go, it goes lovely if you put the Nismo top uh, mold right here as well. But again, this car has got the, 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 the grills, but again, so the genuine uh, bumper, no Nismo ducts. Most GTR 32s have Nismo ducts as well, which makes the car look pretty lovely and sweet. But this car is relatively stock and will maintain. Uh, the other body of the car is also relatively clean. I think it has got some um, the the rust protectory uh, paint underbody some parts of it, but mostly stock. Oh, there's a little bit of surface rust here, if, as you can see. But hey, this is 30 years of old car at the end of the day. That's not much. And from this actually exterior of the car, what you can learn on the car itself is that for most of its age, the car has been kept indoor. Otherwise, it wouldn't be at this good condition. 
for its exterior and just so that you guys know the car has it's it's not been painted or anything so this uh, this is the original factory paint of the car so let's look at the interior of the car again this one is a little bit broken no big deal no big deal or fine thing most of the gtr 32s they are a little bit broken here by the time of their age is the interior several things to note on the interior this one is aftermarket that's not the genuine uh, but the rest is aftermarket as i've been talking a lot and as you guys can understand as well let me turn down the volume a little bit a gtr 32's dashboard this part of the dashboard is easy to get bubbly if the car is kept under the sun or outdoor and as you can see the 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 this dashboard is perfectly fine here there's no bubble or anything wrong with it uh, so what it means is that the car again supporting the hypothesis that i made just earlier has been kept indoor in a very well condition and as for the mileage of the car it's a genuine mileage a uh, hundred forty three thousand kilometers car has got to be exact hundred thirty forty three five hundred ninety one thousand kilometers the steering wheel is also very clean and very much well maintained so they are not like big scratches or anything like that on the steering wheel as uh, as much of the exterior of the car interior also has got a little bit of a dust and needs to be cleaned properly and i don't think it's any issue at all uh, it can easily be done in a one hour or two car can make can be very much lovely interior as well again guys is relatively very much stock except for the 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 the, what do you what do you call this thing like cover leaders here and here as well as aftermarket uh, audio system um, let's turn on the air conditioner and see whether it, whoa, whoa 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 start pulling them yeah air conditioner works it's blowing pretty powerfully which is good let me turn it off from here let's boost up the car a little bit check the windows windows is good to go as well again no problem works perfectly fine which is pretty sweet and awesome let me open up the door um, let's see the carpet itself is underbody of the carpet very clean and very much well maintained this is also pretty much genuine stock uh, seats are very good con uh, condition as well they are not tears so if you notice most of the gtr 32s are easy to get like tiered here or in the back condition but this gtr 32 is relatively very much well maintained and pretty clean condition i am confident to say except it's being 30 years old and what um let's pop up the hood right there and except it's being 30 years old and having 140,000 kilometers the car is much much better than any 25 26 28 years old gtr 32s i have personally seen and i am saying that with the by looking at the exterior which is which has never had any paint and interior of the car and as you guys could see that as well i think most of you guys would agree with me that car is quite well maintained now the next point let's check out the engine compartment of the car which is going to make a big difference as well to the condition of the car here we go everybody this is one of the loveliest engine compartments i have seen on gtr 32s check it out everything here guys is 30 years old pretty clean nothing of a rust very much well can't maintain the engine and the plates as well so are really clean as you can see there are no like uh, there's nothing of uh, colors going off or anything like that of course it has got some um, some uh, actually parts been replaced here this one this one doesn't seem like a stock at all which is perfectly fine again the, the, the timing belt of the car has been replaced pretty cool car has got aftermarket power bars right there which is lovely the car it makes the car look pretty much lovely and here star bars uh suspension bars you can see the bend of the car 
engine compartment of the car is pretty much in a lovely condition very clean and very much well maintained as you can see and pretty much <coughs> the engine itself is in a stock condition see from a little bit from over there as well and let's try to boost up the car a little bit and see good pretty filling engine compartment pretty clean gtr 32 uh yeah very much well maintained car and i think uh i i am confident to say that this is one of the clean gtr 32s i have seen in a while although this one is being one of the earliest first model gtr 32 now biggest question of of this inspection Let's come back to the cost and price of the car that is being offered for sale. So again, guys, just so that you know, this Nissan Skyline GTR 32 has a review. I tell you a little bit. It's a, a hey say one, meaning that the emperor's current emperor's first year of being at the realm, which was 1989. So it's the first earliest GTR 32 that ever manufactured. This car has got JCI or Shaken which makes it uh, which is which means that it's currently the road registered in japan it has got plates uh so you're more than uh, you can drive the car immediately on the road a little bit further on the car in itself it has got 143,600 kilometers genuine mileage as you can see right there and what else i see manual of course the car does not have any repair history uh four people can fit in blah 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 again the shop actually guarantees the performance of a car that you will not have any issues for one month to 1000 kilometers so if you have any issues during this time uh, or driving 1000 kilometers or one month the, the, the basically repair is free of charge uh, <clears throat> as a base price of a car everybody focus it's a 2,780,000 Japanese base price but including tax and everything else uh, or the total selling current selling price of a car is 2,970,000 Japanese yen and that is equal to how much um, around 27,000 some hundred US dollars 27,000 US dollars let's call it so this one is 27,000 US dollars um, Nissan Skyline GTR 32 what do you think guys let me turn the camera again as you could see the car is uh, pretty clean very much well maintained i think it's uh, one of the best condition gtr 32s i have seen in a while although again it's being uh, the first edition earliest gtr 32 with 143,000 kilometers i have seen gtr 32s that are 50 80,000 kilometers but being much much worse condition than this so clearly the owner of the car has done a great job in uh, in maintaining the car in a in a, such a good condition so what do you guys think do you think this car is $37,000 worth it um, would you buy the car or if not why not if yes why do you think so just let me know your um, what you think uh, your ideas in the comments below and if you are interested to purchase this car everybody again you are more than welcome to hit me up i'll be more than happy to provide you extra information on the car if you need it and if you would like to purchase it uh, if you're already located in japan it has got the jci registration everything done on already on the car so you can start driving the car immediately or if you're somebody call, contacting from australia or the united states particularly we have a lot of customers from the united states you're more than welcome to hit me up uh, the car is ready for export at any given uh, time so i will be more than happy to provide you extra information on the car and if you would like to proceed with the purchase i can as you guys know um, from my job i can take care of all the export and delivery of the car and if you i can deliver the car to any part of your in, in at and you can sit at home and get everything done and i can have the car delivered to you at your home state in front of your house basically taking care of all the uh all, all the process of the car uh, uh of, of all the process of export delivery import and everything else so everybody thank you for taking your time to watch this video and let me know what you think and uh, i hope to hear from you guys if any one of you interested and if not i look forward to uh, talk to you guys in the next video everybody cheers have a lovely day